There's one little feature in On One 10.5 that I think is a really, really big deal. Hey everyone, I'm Scott Davenport, and I wanted to put together this quick video about On One 10.5. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you have seen the press and you know, myself included the uh, On One Photo Raw coming in the fall. It looks very interesting. Uh, I've still got lots of questions about it, but it, it's exciting. It looks cool. But under the radar almost, On One also put out an update to On One Photo 10. They put out 10.5. And there's a few features in it, and there's a few things on their website that they talk about. And in particular, I think that having the, the little masks visible in the filter stack when all your filters are collapsed, in effect, is a really, really big deal. I'm sure you saw the video from On One to show how that works and how it shows up. Uh, but there's an even you know, bigger application that I think is more important than just being able to see the mask, and it's for presets. So let me show you what I'm talking about here with, uh, with one of these photos. So in effect, as I mentioned, this new, uh, new masking stuff shows up in the filter mask. For presets, it's a huge, huge deal. I'm going to open up this preset pack here. I'm going to apply this uh, very busy one for this photo so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so this, this preset did a whole bunch of things with filter-wise. And just looking at the image, I can see that there's you know, more texture in certain areas, uh, the, the contrast feels off, and so forth. But at a glance, I can skim down this left side of all these presets and immediately see that there are certain effects that are only being applied in certain areas. And I can adjust those to tailor it to my image. And I don't have to hunt through every single filter to go find them. So I know that dynamic contrast has got this gradient on it. And so I'll click on that so I can tailor it for this image. And once I'm in there, I get my masking bug and I can adjust it. And so I would probably want to rotate this around some so I can highlight my particular subject better, uh, it, with you know better with this contrast, and you get the idea. You know, just on down the line, I can go through and check out all the different filters that have some type of mask on them and fine tune them for my image. We would do that normally. Big deal having this little mask preview available or mask view available. I don't have to hunt through every single filter in the preset. Thank you.